Well, hello everybody. We're here again with a new review. Uh, this is uh, a new Bible that I just got in. It's the journal, the World Bible. New King James Version by Thomas Nelson. And uh, it comes in different uh, bindings. I didn't find uh, a premium binding for it, uh, like a premium leather, which uh, I think I might be doing myself uh, with this one. I will be rebinding this one with a nice, uh, it would be like a cowhide or goat skin. And uh, as you can see in these pictures that I took of this Bible, uh, the uh, end sheets, sorry, the, uh, the edges, the edges were blank, they were not uh, blue, as uh, you can see here. I uh, dyed myself uh, the edges, so this uh, will look a little bit better. Now, let's open this up. It comes with uh, a little page here. This Bible belongs to nothing really special, just nice to have that there. and. Uh, the Journal of the World Bible. This is a large print, which you're gonna see very soon what that looks like. The paper is creamish color, it's not white. And uh, here you have it's a copy, uh, so it copyrighted in uh, 2016 by Thomas, ne Thomas Nelson, right there. Okay, that's, there we have that. Printed in China. Now the paper is smooth and it's pretty thick I mean it's not like cardstock type of paper it's still Bible paper but it's pretty thick uh, for war for one reason if this is gonna be your journaling Bible you want something that's gonna hold on hold up well, well with um, it's gonna take well sorry uh, ink so let's have a look here we have a uh, all this extra information you can stop the video if you want to read this. Uh, the typical um, New King James uh, introductions to the Bible. Here's the Old Testament. Very crisp, very nice. And uh, here's Genesis. Now, you got these lined margins right here. I'm going to show you. This is actually two inches of margin, two inches wide. Okay, and uh, I think it's pretty nice margin. Uh, the this Bible lays flat, as you can see it right there. All right, and the the type is very readable very well spaced and uh, very crisp single column it is single column but the verses is not a verse by verse bible that's what i want to trying to say that's what i was trying to say but uh, i think you have plenty of space nevertheless to write on your uh, margins right here this very readable very readable now you can see if you have a little bit of uh, see the, the way it looks with the blue I think it's it's a very nice contrast right there so it's a very nice um, a Bible for uh, I suppose either taking notes or doing devotionals. I, I'm going to use this for my personal devotional because I have uh, other wide margin Bibles that I use for study and uh, I think you should keep them but, uh, those separate. I think your personal devotional where God speaks to your heart, where you are learning things from God in a personal level, uh, applications and such, that should be separate from what's actually uh, doctrine, teaching, 
etc which is uh, uh, for everybody in general and this should be just for yourself but that's just my opinion but uh, obviously you can do whatever you want uh, it comes with just one 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 ribbon just there cheap I will actually end up changing this probably putting three uh, thick uh, ribbons maybe navy blue or maybe even uh, a combination of colors from yellow sorry yellow blue white black I'll see what I do I just have to think about that one this is a red letter Bible the red is pretty well done it's consistent it doesn't fade away look at that very crisp it's a dark red it's not pinkish or light which I like and uh, it's a very nice font uh, I really like this font it's very readable very crisp so you can see it right there and plenty of space for for prayers or and, and notations. Remember that this is something that I did myself. It doesn't come with this, but it's very easy to do if you want to do it. Um, just ask uh, how I did it in the comment section, and I will be delighted to answer your questions right there. And uh, at the end of the Bible, you got a few a revelation right there. You got a few extra pages for notes. Uh, it's lined paper. Okay, you can see there it's lined. So you go one, two, three, four, five. Five, I think, and six pages for extra notes, or even if you wanted to create like a little index on, on subjects that you divide, probably your notes, you can do that here. And this, and then you go to Scarstock, and it comes with this elastic uh, ribbon now. That is the number right there of this uh, specific uh, model. If you want to take a look, there you go. Uh, this is uh, a hard cover. It's pretty decent. It's black. It's smooth. It's smooth. It's not. Doesn't have any type of uh, design or engraving. It's very simple. It really is. Uh, this is about I can't I can't remember, but this was about um, let me see uh, I think it was around twenty five thirty dollars I think I paid for this and uh, I, I will put um, a link to it if you want to have a look and other options but I think it's a nice uh, Bible uh, for devotional now here is size it is from top to bottom eight inches tall and then if we measure the actual sorry now I want to measure the cover the width of the cover right here and it's uh, let me see it's about six and a half inches wide and it's a bit thick because the paper is quite uh, thick as well and you have a little bit less than no I suppose it's two inches two inches thick two inches thick but that is because you got a very nice font size in one column and with two inches of margin in uh, a pretty thick paper so I couldn't tell you exactly but this looks to me like at least at least to be 30 GSM paper 30 if not more I could be wrong it could be 35 40 but uh, for 
how I feel this paper should be thicker than 30 GSM. Just you know, some extra information there for you. Okay, so that's uh, all for today. Thanks for watching.